Hey guys, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I've been looking at doing this review for a really long time. Uh, the problem was COVID hit and you could not find any ammo. The great thing is, is I finally got a hold of some wolf ammo. That is actually what prompted me to go back to the 300 blackout over the 762 by 39, which I did a review on a long time ago. And at the time, honestly, it was kind of, you know, why would you go with a 300 blackout? Um, because of the cost of ammo on the 762 by 39, but then Wolf was coming out with this, and before COVID hit, they had this listed at 399 a box. That's as cheap as any 762 by 39 ammo I've ever found. Now, the huge advantage, like I covered when I did, you know, the comparison between the two calibers is the 300 blackout has such a huge variety of ammo, bullets, supersonic, subsonic. And so when the wolf came out, I decided, hey, now I can plink for an affordable price the same as my 762 by 39. So anyway, of course, I wanted to try PSA's version. This is the, the five, or sorry, the 7.5 inch is M lock. It's got a heavy barrel. This is not the flash suppressor that it came with. This is so that I can put my silencer cocaine on. It comes with just your standard A2 flash suppressor. And I also put one of the Thrill RTG grips on because I love those grips and that was also PSA. What I did was, is I started off with this um, with a scope because I wanted to test accuracy. Let's take a quick look at what I was able to do when I put on my Nikon 4 to 12 by 40, and then uh, and then we'll come back to the Romeo 7. Okay, so I zeroed it at 50, and we went to the 100 yards. We got good groups at the 100 yards. You know, considering everything, I was really happy with that. Um, now I just want to bang away at 300 with the optic on there and see how we do with that. Okay, so we we're having great luck out at 300 yards. Before I really go any farther, what I want to do is I want to chronograph. I want to see what kind of speeds we're getting. Um, I do a separate review on the Wolf ammo. There's going to be a lot of overlap, but with a seven and a half inch barrel, let's just see what we're getting uh, with this basic, you know, supersonic type ammo. 1754. 1678, 1699, 1712, 1666. Okay, so we stuck the Sig Romeo 7 on there. You know, I'm going to be honest, when I first got the Romeo 7, 
I uh, I wasn't all that impressed. It's it's very different than the Romeo Five. As time went on, I really started liking it, and we got some fantastic groups with this. Check this out. Okay, so here was the initial sight in. First shot, made an adjustment, second shot, third shot brought up here, I can't remember. But there was the group, and that's with the wolf. Then I came over here, and I shot a group, and guys, that's really not bad. I mean, for wolf, and what we're paying for this, so I made some adjustments. Came over here, needed to make some more adjustments, and I ended up here. over from the scope to the sig romeo guys that is the best group i've got yet that's five shots using the wolf that rocks i'd taken the sig off and put it back on got that group and then i got this group and i got that group and those are great that i don't think was just luck it was just the perfect conditions so here's the group that i got with the hornady this was kind of the first group there you know <laughs> it's really not that great when we compare it to the wolf especially this one it is quiet though. Oh, hey, that's a lot better. Maybe the barrel just needed warming up. Yeah, I hadn't shot it for a while, so. Okay, so thus far, could not be happier. Uh, hey guys, if you like this video, Go to our webpage, you find our links there, check out the links, click on those. Using our links helps support Beyond Seclusion. That helps me afford things like ammo to test. I'm still looking for a sponsor. Until then, ammo costs a lot. You guys have been awesome with your support. I also teach these online courses. I've published these. If you're interested, they get great ratings. Um, you know, forward them on. Also, things like the optics, like this one. I have listed on my Amazon page. That's where I find the crazy stupid deals on a lot of the optics. Check it out. Using our links helps support Beyond Seclusion. Couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you for your support. There you go, guys. I really don't know what else to say. I absolutely love this. It ate up and spit out hundreds of rounds of the wolf. Not one single light primer strike. Not one. And that was without any kind of modification, um, you know, different firing pin, nothing. 
it did great with the Hornady. Um, before I got the Wolf, I did have a couple of boxes of MagTech that I'd ran through. I lost the video on that. This is an outstanding shooting gun for the cost. It's going to be hard to beat. Uh, I absolutely love this for a seven and a half inch barrel. I couldn't be more happy, you know, with what we were shooting. Hopefully you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Until next time, guys, happy shooting and be safe.